All right, this is Mike Gisty with Hurricane Reinstatement Solutions. We have a Spartan Plumbing Warehouse where we created a Tornado, the best cutter available out on the market. This tutorial is for all my customers that have tornadoes and that want to know how to take them apart. Okay, some of the features of this tool before we go into that is that it makes the oval hole. It can travel up to 60, 70 feet in one reinstatement, not a problem. We can reinstate in about 45 seconds to a minute and a half every time, any distance. The tool can reinstate underwater. The tool can reinstate with debris in it, and one tool can take care of plastic, cast iron, any pipe. So let's get started. We have a two inch tornado here. Okay, everything on the tornado is eighth inch. So you have an eighth inch Allen wrench. Try to get something a little spring loaded, okay? Anytime you take this tool apart on any one of our tornadoes, whether it's the four inch, the three inch, or the two inch, you take it apart from the back side, never the front side. So you'll start, you got four Allen heads that you take. We've already loosened a few of them. And you pull the coupling off. So you got coupling, spring assembly, you have a guide ball, you have another spring, a guide ball, another spring assembly, actually two spring assemblies. Okay, most of these tools are all designed the same way. The cap comes off. Okay, when you have your tool like this, we like to uh, set you up for cast iron or anything that you have is super long with a lot of bends and a lot of nines as long as it's metal pipe. You would take this piece here off and you would replace it with this cap right here. What this cap will do you put this on and put the tool back the same exact way, it will enable the tool to go around multiple 90s, any kind of length. We do not suggest using this cap for blasting. This cap is for cast iron only. Okay, now with that being said, let's get back to taking it apart. The head has two Allen screws in it. You will pull the head off with the two Allen screws and it comes off. Now, if you notice, there's a locking ring. Locking ring's there for a reason. Let's say your guys aren't tightening up the tool every couple of times. They lose the head. Oh my God, the head fell off. The rest of the tool will be pulled out. You do not have to fish all of this out of the line. That is very important. With some of these other tools on the market, when we lost the head, we were fishing out 20 parts. It was a total pain in the rear end. Okay, now, with that being said, let's get the tool and we'll put it back together. You have your cable, you have your head. Put your head in, put your head down. When you tighten this head up, it is imperative that you tighten the snot out of it. I don't care how tight you put it, you want to tighten it, crank it down. That's why I do spring loaded. Do not be afraid. Everything on this tool is hardened. You will not break anything. Okay, it's important after every five or 10 times you use it that you tighten it up. And after every 15 times, I would personally replace this cable, okay? Because you will get a weak point here and you will get one here and eventually it will break. Okay, so that, that being said, the head is on. Cap goes down. We have our first uh, spring assembly right here. Basically, it goes down like this. Make sure that your center piece, it's two-sided for two different size springs that you put it on the right way. So that would go down, you would do a smaller spring, you would do the cover, you will do a guide ball, you would do a spring, another guide ball, and then another drive spring. Once you put the drive spring on, you want to collapse it a little bit, and you want to use this by putting this down. Again, if you notice the size of this coupling, it's not little cheesy couplings like the other ones. This coupling is designed to go on and dissipate heat. Okay, if you notice on our four inch tool how big it is, it dissipates a lot of heat. A lot of our breakages that we've been doing, that we've been finding were occurring at these couplings. Since we made these bigger, we have not had that problem. And you just take it, same thing, tighten it, tighten it, and just tighten the snot out of it. And pretty much that's about it when it comes to the tool. Enjoy your tool, 
You will get many reinstatements out of it, over 50, 60 reinstatements. One more thing that we will point out is the front of the tool. You can resharpen it. That's why you can get over 50 reinstatements out of it. On all of them can be resharpened. This one, the four inch can be resharpened into three. And that concludes our class on taking the tornado apart and what the tornado does. Thank you for your time.